Okay, so it's been a couple of days um, since I installed these. I figured I'd come out here and go ahead and do a wrap up of how it all goes down. Um, so coming out on this side from the Jeep, you have a green with red tracer wire that is the brake turn signal lights. And then you have a black with yellow tracer, which is a tail running lights. Some people have uh, said that theirs was a white with a yellow tracer. So if you have that one, that's your um, tail running lights. And then there's also a purple with black tracer for the reverse lights. And on this side, um, the purple you know, with black tracer is still going to be the reverse lights and the black with yellow tracer or white with yellow tracer is going to be your tail running lights. And the brown with red tracer is going to be your brake turn signal um, light signal. So, uh, so yeah, same on both sides minus the turn signal which is green with red on this side and um, brown. Uh, with red on that side. So over here um, we have the marker light and the tag light. So the tag light has a black and a red wire coming out of it. The black is the ground and the red is the positive. So the red is going to have to go to the tail running lights. So when you have your you know, running lights, tail lights on, that will light up the license plate. And then for the marker light, um, the black is the positive and the white was the ground and the way I wired that one was I have it so it comes on with the tail lights so that is going black is going to the tail running lights signal um, for the tail lights there's two pigtails uh, the top one has a white and a red wire the white wire is the ground the red wire is for the reverse lights on the top and then for the bottom pigtail, you have a black, red, and white wires. Uh, the black is the tail running light wires, the red is the brake turn signal wire, and the white is the ground. So that is it. Taking the tail light off is pretty simple. There's four Phillips head screws around the outside to pull the tail light cover off. And then once you do that inside, you'll find three three eighths um, bolts that you'll have to take out, and they're in a triangle pattern in this bottom section here: one, two, and three. And then once you do that, you should be able to pull it away and access the wiring in the back. To remove the license plate holder, you'll want to remove the license plate first, and you may have two or four uh, screws, either Phillips head or flathead, and then you'll use the 10 millimeter. Um, socket to remove the four bolts in here and then you'll be able to pop this off. Parking lights. Reverse with running, reverse tail. Finally finished. I'll go over this in detail later, but I put a side marker there, flush mounted the tail, uh, the license plate. Put the new tail lights in, license plate tag, and same on this side minus license plate stuff, tail light, and marker. The marker I did two inches over and two inches high. Tail light is six and a half inch for these down from the lip here. But it's also just when you take off the tail light, there's going to be a triangle of holes. It's the bottom left one. Oh, sorry. 
bottom left one. And they are bright. I'll get y'all some video later. Turned out sick.